Uh, he's in the orange. Like, what do you do? Do you go try to go long? He's gonna out sprint me, dude. Ah! This is just not fast enough. God, it's way too easy. Ah! 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 Vegan Cyclist here, and today we're racing against an IFBB Pro Bodybuilder. My mouth is so dry now. Ugh. Why'd you do that? Just, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so Greg is a, a top level bodybuilder. Now he was a competitive cyclist before being a bodybuilder. So it's not just like some dude who has no clue what he's doing. He has been a competitive cyclist in the past and he's gotten really into Zwift. Ah. Now given the current climate with the quarantines and all, we can't meet up in person, but we can get on Zwift and we can full gas this. The first race is gonna be a four kilometer, two mile sprint. Now, it's definitely not my forte, right? This is, it's gonna be hard to beat him. The guy can do 800 watts for one minute. Ah! I weigh 150 pounds, he weighs almost 200 pounds, um, and so hopefully my watt per kilo can, can, you know, prevail. But it's gonna be really difficult in this first race. This is a 4K sprint, two miles, Full gas. Greg, I gotta win, dude. I'm going for you. So I'm gonna show you the race in its entirety. It's only five minutes. Uh, my whoop strain for this ride was 18.1. I did more after that, that's why it's so high. My recovery 67%, which means I'm decently ready to take on some strain. I got a good night's sleep the night before, but dude, look at my heart rate. It's almost 150 beats per minute before we've even started. That's how nervous I was. I was actually shaking. Uh, I was that nervous, right? Because I'm live streaming and, you know, there's a lot riding on this, man. If Greg smashes me, that's awesome. If he wins, that's fantastic for him. If he loses, not that big of a deal. I think people might have already expected that. On my end, dude, I, the amount of vegan excuses that I would have to make uh, to, 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 to justify getting beat by a bodybuilder, it'd be ridiculous. So I went really hard off the start. I, I wanted to test the legs of everyone and the group wasn't very big. Um, I think there's 50 people or 49 people. Uh, but you know, I was thinking maybe I could just go long. I could just be off the front the entire race. Uh, but the thing is the most important thing, dude, just look at Greg going Hulk mode, man, is that the harder the race, the better it is for me. So the easier the race, the better it is for him because he is, he's, he's a drag racing machine, right? He's got so much power and I don't have that kind of power, but I'm not very heavy, right? So I'm weighing 155. I think I weighed in at 154 before the race. He's weighing almost 200 pounds. So the watt per kilo, which is how many watts you can put out per kilo, you know, of your weight, that, that is how this game works. If you don't know anything about Swift, right, it, you push on the pedals, you create power, and that power then gets measured against your weight that you've put in the game, granted that you put in the correct weight, and that's, you know, how we're going heads up here. Now, the race is so short that it sort of takes the advantage of me being uh, an endurance athlete right away because it's only five minutes and and so you can do an all-out effort for five minutes uh so i've got to be pretty smart about how i'm going to apply my energy to this now greg he keeps doing this man look at this bro he's he's hitting a thousand watts going from zero to a thousand very uh spiky power whereas you can see my power is very smooth I'm just sort of keeping it between, you know, 200 to, to 300 watts. Um, now, again, like I said, the, the easier the race, the harder it's going to be for me. 
because then it's going to come down to the sprint. He's going to be fresh. So I need someone to attack. I need someone to do something. Because right now the race is basically coming to a crawl. There's He's not, even though it looks like he's putting out a lot of energy, you know, he's going to out sprint me if it stays this way. And so I'm trying to think, well, what am I going to do? Am I going to go long? Like right now I am I have no chance of winning. So then what gets really unfair is this guy that goes off the front, he's, he's weight doping. He put in the wrong weight, like way less weight. So it's like a Corvette motor and a golf cart, right? And he makes this huge attack, which helped me so much. Without this attack by Mr. Cheater, dude, I don't think I would have won. Because this made the race so hard and it burned Greg's legs so bad, you know, that that, that guy cheating played into my favor so huge right and I didn't know he was cheating till the end he actually got disqualified from the race so that kind of messed it up and, and was a little bit unfair for for Greg you know and also then I like countered it so when that guy when cheater dude went I actually used that to springboard and you can see you know that that Greg is having to match my watts and he's having to go so hard that you know this really burned him up and so, but the, it worked in my favor. It, it worked in my favor big time to have that happen. Because if that guy hadn't done that, I would have had to do that, right? I would have had to do something to try to hurt Greg. Now, I've burned two matches. We're coming in with about a half a mile to go. I don't, I can't see Greg. Like, this is so funny watching him now. But I can't see him. I don't know if he's hurting or not. I don't know how bad, you know, he's he's in the pain cave. And all I know is that we're coming to the sprint and I've got to out sprint him and I've got to go early. I can't wait till the final, you know, few feet because then he's just going to roast me. So we hit this little riser, which again, played into my favor big time. And uh, you, you'll you actually see the guy get disqualified. There's this cone of shame that pops up over his head saying, bro, you're cheating and cue cheating cone. Oh my God, stop being lying. So he actually gets kicked out of the race right here. Everyone's going full gas. I'm behind Greg and I come around Greg and I get this perfect draft from Bumblebee and I'm able to take it all the way to the line, you know? And so like, look, I think it's expected that I was going to, that I was going to win, but we were only separated by one second and, and a lot of this went my way. Right, there was a lot of things here that actually went in my favor. The cheater guy in the group really hurt Greg by doing that. So we're gonna have to do another one, man. We're gonna have to do a, a different race. But I did snag it. It took everything I had, everything I had, to snag that sprint. Boom! Big ups. Big ups to my banana boys. I was drafted my brother and I thought, okay, I'm gonna follow him in, use his power, and then I'll pass him at the end. There's a hill before the end and it's steep enough that I'm too heavy. I'm riding good and then all of a sudden I'm like, what the hell? And then the bike, you put the watts down, it's like, what? So the vegan cyclist is lighter, so he gets up that hill, he has more endurance, not more sprint, but a long, long, long drag like that. He's able to hold on to that power. So up the hill, that's where I lost it. Some of the guys got ahead and uh, I caught a few at the end, but too little too late. But that's fifth place out of 50 guys. Now look, all jokes aside, I thought I thought Greg did such a good job. Uh, he was so respectful. You know, there wasn't any negative banter between his audience and me. And, and I thought that was going to be a huge issue. You know, bodybuilding, meat eaters, and, and then get introduced to a, a vegan cyclist. Like it's just a recipe for disaster, right? But it wasn't. Everyone was super cool. Um, you know, and this event, obviously it's very short and I think that, you know, he has nothing to lose and everything to gain and I'm sort of the opposite way, but, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, just 
competition is so cool no matter how you look at it and i think it's neat to see someone so jacked with so much muscle versus someone who's got a zero muscle you know and and how that plays out now when the virus is over and we can travel again i'm going to go to his place uh, and he's going to put me through a bodybuilder workout, right? Because like, so I'm kind of making fun of, of him huffing and puffing and me not really trying. It's going to be the same way if I go try to do weights. It's going to be a joke. I'm going to look ridiculous trying to lift anything. You know what I mean? So uh, I'll let Greg get his payback on me. Again, I want to just say thank you to Greg for giving me this opportunity. We're going to do another race where I actually set my weight to the same as his. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun and, and just kind of basically compare the heart and the motor, you know what I mean? Uh, no weight advantage for me. So I hope you enjoyed, uh, this, this was a lot of fun. I can't wait to do another one as always vegan cyclist. You yeah. three, four. Baby, if you're looking for some crazy.